Hello everyone. I often get questions on uh, my chat and DM about my equipment I use when I'm hunting. So uh, I thought about making a small clip about this. And uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments if there is something I forgot to tell you about. But uh, in this video I mainly are describing the equipment I use when I'm uh, stalking for deer or wild boar for example. We begin with the rifle setup. I have my Steel Action uh, HS uh, with GX stock. It means that I can adjust the stock in uh, height and length and it have a very uh, good grip. The Steel Action rifle is a straight pull rifle. So uh, to uh, reload I just have to uh, drag the bolt uh, straight back and push it forward. Uh, what I like especially much with this is that it's an extremely smooth bolt action and I also the safety it's, uh, it's uh, uncocked the uh, pin totally so it's 100% safe uh, when it's safe. I like that very much with the rifle. It also have a, a steel uh, magazine, a steel clip so it's very sturdy and uh, robust. I have this rifle in 308. I think it's a very good all-round caliber. Uh, especially if you're traveling a lot because you can find ammunition to a 308 on every place in, on earth. If they only have one caliber it's probably a 308 they have in stock. Uh, I have this with a little heavier barrel and uh, I have an, a Stalin Victor L uh, silencer on it. Uh, I think it's the silencer I found that have the most uh, muffle of the sound compared to its size. Uh, I, I really like this and it gets less recoil and uh, it's all over a very nice pleasant uh, experience to shoot with this rifle. Uh, on top of the rifle I have my Tridicon 4 to 16 times 50. Uh, so the magnification goes from 4 to 16 and the front lens is 50 millimeters. Uh, I, this have a parallax adjustment so I can get a sharp image uh, on all distances. Uh, the special, uh, what I like especially with the Tridicon, uh, expect for a good lenses and a good uh, light transmission, it's that I don't have any batteries. It's a illuminated reticle without batteries. It's a fiber optic uh, thread that illuminates the reticle and when it's totally dark outside there is a small capsule with tritium that illuminates the fiber optics, so uh, it glows when it's completely dark as well. One thing that I have tried out this season, and in the beginning of the season I was a little skeptical. Now after hunting with this setup for a whole season, both me and Oliver who mainly hunts with this rifle, we are totally in love with the concept of the secondary sight. When I begin uh, using this, I have mounted a, 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 a hollow sight here. It's a 3 con RMR. Uh, from the beginning I thought it was mainly to be able to shoot on short distances. If there was some game coming up very close to you, if you have four times magnification as the smallest magnification, it's uh, too much, I think. I like to have uh, as, uh, just like one or so when it's close up. So that's why I mounted this. But we have found out during the season that it's extremely good to have to, uh, what can call it, frame the, the game. If you find deer out on the field or in a clearing in the woods, like in 200 meters, it can be a hard time to find it when you have the magnification on 16, for example. Then you put it into the holosite. Uh, and find the game and then you just lower your, uh, your eyesight a couple of centimeters and then you are spot on uh, on 16 medication. So uh, both for the first shot to find them but also for example if you shoot an animal and it does go down directly it runs a little bit you heighten up your uh, eyesight a little follow the animal in the, uh, uh, the hollow sight and if you need to take another shot you can just lower your uh, eyesight a little bit. It's very hard to follow animal with uh, high magnification. Also if you need to take a shot on a second animal you see the first animal goes down directly then you can follow the, the group of animal or the second animal in the group on this side and as soon as they stop you are very 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 fast to go down 
and get the fast shot uh, uh, on the higher magnification. This is a superb solution and for this I need to have this mounted on top uh, and I like that very much. For the mounting I have used a spur uh, mounting system. Uh, it's very very versatile, I can choose where to mount the secondary sight and it's very very robust. <laughs> I think it, you can run over it with a tank, uh, they are very very good. And uh, for a rifle sling I have a Butler Creek. What I like with this, it's a pretty wide so you get a lot of comfort on your shoulder but uh, when I don't wear it on the shoulder I can tighten up this so it doesn't is uh, loose like this. I just pull here and tighten up it, tight it up like this. It's much easier when you need to sneak up the last uh, uh, bit to the animal or so on that you don't get entangled in branches and so on. I really like this uh, this setup. Uh, for a bullet or cartridge, I use Hornady ELDX. I think it's a very good all-round uh, bullet. Uh, I hunted just with on, during this season, but me and Oliver all together have probably shot around 30 to 35 uh, deer and wild boar, and so far it has performed very good. So this will probably uh, we will probably hunt with this for next season as well. It's a very good cartridge. I always want to bring my own shooting rest when I'm uh, stalking. I don't want to rely on finding any natural rest on, on uh, stocks and uh, on uh, trees or so on. So I need to take, if I want to take a shot whenever I need to, I have my shooting rest with me. And uh, now uh, using the Primus trigger sticks for a couple of years, I haven't found any better shooting rest for all round purpose. I can uh, sit down, I can st stand up, and with the Gen 3 uh, shooting st stick from uh, uh, Primos, I can lower it down very, very f uh, low angles. And uh, I think for all on purpose, there is no better. I tried out also like uh, uh, stable sticks, uh, four legged shooting rest, and it's very good for long distances. But uh, when it comes to sitting down or uh, so on, I find it, uh, it doesn't work for me. So for all round purposes, I think this, this is the best. Also when I'm stalking, I uh, bring in another shooting uh, rest and it's my uh, Spartan uh, bipod. It's a small shooting rest that it's easy to have in the pocket. I also have a belt clip for it, but actually I forgot it on, on this hunt. So uh, I, uh, wear, uh, I uh, carry it with me in the pocket. What's, this I use when I need to lay down or if I find a big uh, stone or boulder that I can take a rest on. It's very easy to put this on the rifle. And uh, what I have uh, done on, on this rifle, I have a, what they call, I think it's called gunsmith adapter. It's mounted uh, to the stock like this. So when I need to shoot, I bring this out and it's very easy to attach here. It's a small magnet in here. And uh, I can choose to mount it on this way, or I can choose to mount it in uh, this way. And uh, what's the difference is that in this way it swivels like this, so it's easier to follow uh, an, uh, an animal. But in this way it's stuck. But you can get a little firmer rest if you tighten up the, the, uh, the lever on the back side here, so it's totally stuck. There is a small adjustment also in height. But uh, for me, this is very good laying down. And if you want to walk, uh, continue your hunt, you just take away and put it, put it in your pocket. I think I haven't found any better uh, shooting rest for, uh, for this kind of shooting than the Spartan uh, bipod. Uh, this model, uh, I think it's called uh, Javelin bip uh, bipod. It's a very good one. Also, when I'm stalking, I bring my binoculars. I think it's the best way to uh, uh, spot game out in opening and uh, see if you need to count antlers or make a judgment of, about uh, uh, antlers on, on main animals. Uh, normally, when I stalk, I have a pretty lightweight uh, 
uh, hunting jacket and uh, trousers and I, depending on the temperature, I put on uh, uh, some uh, clothing under to uh, uh, regulate how warm I need to be. I like this new uh, camo, it's called Strata. Uh, it's, I think it's very good all-around purpose uh, camouflage. Uh, so that's about that. I also bring gloves, both because of uh, if it's cold, but also if it's very sunny, I want to protect my hands when I uh, spot for animal with the binoculars, but because the hands are moving a lot and uh, it's easier for the animals to see the bright, bright hands. And for that purpose I also have a face mask. Uh, I should be honest to say, many times I forget to use them, uh, especially if it's warm. I feel a little uncomfortable uh, putting uh, more clothes on me, but that's the way it is. I also bring a game puller. If you, uh, hopefully, I shoot something and I want to drag it out, and if you have your rifle, shooting rest and so on, it's easy to have this, hook it up to the animal, and. Uh, drag it behind you when you walk out. So uh, this I think it's what I bring on on a, on a stalk and uh, if there's something I forget to tell you about it as I said in the beginning just ask and uh, please also write a comment what kind of equipment do you use. It's just something I forgot to bring that you think it's essential to bring on a stock. and I hope you enjoy this clip and please give it a thumbs up if you like it or uh, so it helps us a lot uh, in making more clips if we know that you guys like what we're doing. Thank you.